Okay, we're back. Um, right, I'm carrying on from where I left off. And it's coming up a lot better. I'm just taking my time with it really because I don't want to um, I don't want to push my look and scratch it off the board so I'm just gently rubbing and it seems to work better if I linger for about six or seven seconds over each part and when I've done this I'm going to use some beeswax and polish the whole s that side of the board Because the thing about these solvents is they're very dry, uh, so it makes any powdery look stand out. It's definitely working. You can see the writing's getting darker. I'll, I'll put this in the scanner when I've done it and scan it so you can see it properly. It's a matter of finding the best process for cleaning that white stuff off, really, without damaging the toner. That's the that's the key. It's just finding the best. But I thought about WD-40, but mm, I'm not sure because WD-40, mm, well, it might work, but I haven't got much left anyway. WD-40 is a very good cleaner, actually. I don't mind doing it like this. It's kind of fun actually. Just to get good results, you know, it's just, well, it's rewarding, you know. Even if it takes a lot of effort. <laughs> I wonder where Alan is, he seems to have disappeared. I haven't seen Alan for a day or two. Ha, ha, ha. 
Right, I think I cleaned that enough that I can just use some dry tissue and now I'm going to put some beeswax on and then I'm going to polish it right beeswax time because it's the powder looks gone this is just going to give it a wettish a wet look I also need to do that on the copper to protect it so the beeswax is just giving it a more of a wettish look and it looks a lot better now it contrasts it all out you know right look look at that a lot better than it was now I'm just gonna put this paper that way around and I'm going to do the copper because I just want to prevent the copper oxidizing what affect the soldering I want to photocopy a photo scan both sides I used to actually lacquer the board with a special spray but it's kind of it's about eight pounds a can now uh, I'm just not going to spend eight quid just for a lacquer not when I can wax it I'll do something else just to keep it from oxidizing I'll just dry that, I'll just rub that in. I'll let it dry a minute. Right, I'll get my trusty duster. Actually, I'll use some tissue first, I think, just to wipe. Wipe it a little bit. They put quite a lot on there. Now, I'll just let that dry a minute. Oops, what? Can't seem to prop it up against anything. Uh, oh my bottle, I'll just pop it up against the bottle a minute let it dry then I'll polish that up with the duster and it should be uh, all done I'll scan it then <coughs> I love the smell of that polish mmm it reminds me of I was younger oh my god what's this a screw where's that come from Huh. Oh, has it fallen out my keyboard? No, they're black screws. I don't know where these screws come from. It looks like a Torx or something. That's weird. Where did that screw come from? Hmm. Well, I'll stick it on my magnet. Oh, it's not magnet. It's not magnetic. Oh, it must have come out of a harder. Oh, I know it is. It was in the grenade, wasn't it? <laughs> oh. Right, that's that sorted. Put it back in the grenade. I had a few screws in there. Right, this... Um oh, I can just uh, dust it up now. The contrast, I can already see the contrast is much better than it was. Come out really good now. It's got a much better wet look as well. Oh. It's a lot better. try and get the camera over so you can see better 
I'll stick it in my, my, my scanner because um, you can't see very well in this, in this light but it looks very good I'm really impressed actually with that oh my socket one of my sockets is right on the edge oh that's fine that's okay that's fine I'm not worried about that it's gonna it the solder tabs are there <coughs> these boards were a little bit small you see I won't be drilling it yet, I'm going to wait for them components to come because um, this Monday I want to see about ordering some more drill bits for my drill because my little drills are really blunt so I'm going to look on eBay see if I can get um, a better small drill before I drill the board I might actually even look at um, if I can get a new um, chuck insert for my drill as well because it doesn't hold the little drills very well but I'm not in a hurry to build this board the point is it's ready for when I want to use it right I'll stick it in the scanner <coughs> Oh my god, that's perfect. Oh, right, well, wait a minute, I'm just going to swap it over.
that went, oh god, that went underneath a bit, just a minute. I haven't got it lined up properly. So pretty getting a board lined up because it sh slides around on the glass. Oh, this is alright, by the looks of it.
Ah, oh, some of these are like three megabytes. Bloody hell. Three megabytes. 2.76 megabytes. Oh well, what take long to download that. <coughs> uh, so you can check that out, hide. Or anyone. <coughs> Yeah, that's what they come out. There's a few little specks of um, the stopping between the some of the letters that write in some on the holes, but that's nothing really. Can hardly tell. Yeah, there's a t when I zoom in on my <coughs> my pro program, there's some tiny bits I've missed, but I'm not worried about those. They'll wear off, or they'll probably flake off in time by themselves anyway. <coughs> but at least I've got the contrast now. I've got um, a much better contrast, so you can re actually read it and see the. You can even see the raised toner on the board. Mmm. Ten one hundred are you up for shit? <laughs> <laughs> I thought ten one hundred was going to the toilet. <laughs> <coughs> oh Yeah, <coughs> I can't blow that. I mean, I can't see any anything significant that is a problem on it. It looks really, really good. I've even got my output trigger <coughs> pin. That uh, going to be a soldered pin there for the trigger for the oscilloscope, and that's supplied by a little capacitor C13. <coughs> that's the there's nothing missing that I can see. Oh, there's a looks like a little bit of crud next to duty cycle high. Don't know why it is, unless it's just a speck of dust on the scanner. Could be. I'll, I'll take it out of the scanner and have a look. <coughs> right next to uh, variable resistor, variable resistor four, there's a little speck. And I'm just going to find out where, if that speck is actually on the board. Uh, it might be just a, might just be some a speck of dust on the scanner bed. Let's see, rose variable resistor four. Uh, it's near the IC, so let's have a look to see if I can spot that. Oh, it must have been a speck on the scanner bed because I can't see it. Yeah, there was some crud on the scanner bed because it's not here on the board. I'll actually make a video on my phone, just a minute. <coughs> I need to do this anyway. Right, I'll use my magnifying glass as well. Um, I'm gonna, I'm going to film a little video. <coughs> 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 
<coughs> a short video that's not live stream and long right right okay there's an update on this situation uh, I made a new circuit board and this time um, the technique I used was the standard photo um, resist as in um, photo transfer using um, toner however um, and with a copper side I use the standard technique of soaking it in water to release the paper and then rub the paper until the paper came off the board but on the silver screen side I used a mixture of um, a, uh, was it ten, five, mil, 5 milliliters of acetone mixed in with I think 50 milliliters of uh, um, um, I've got to recall it now. Uh, <laughs> typical uh, 50 milliliters of um, um, isopropyl alcohol. Yeah, that's it, right? Ordinary uh, isopropyl alcohol, right? So you put a tiny amount of acetone in it, which helps to release. Um, this is the piece of paper that this, these, um, uh, the actual. Um, get the magnifying glass on it. This, that's a piece of paper that my silk screen was on and as you can see there is absolutely nothing on there's a tiny bit at the bottom but I'll tell you why because I used what I did was when I took it out I allowed it, I allowed it to cool and then on the paper side I sprayed with a fine mist um, the acetone which was a small amount, tiny amount, in mixed in isopropyl alcohol on the back of the paper. That caused the paper to re the the toner to be released from the paper, and the paper just lifted off off the pod easily, without any water or any soap, and it left me with um, this kind of result. However, I had to clean this side of the board afterwards with a cotton bud and a bit more of the weak solution of and I, ha I have to emphasize that it was a weak solution of acetone um, <coughs> mixed with um, isopropyl alcohol and using a cotton bud dipped in that I went around cleaning all the pads until the gloss came back because there was like a p white powdery papery look anyway after I'd cleaned it um, this is what I got it's so the detail is just so clear you can read oh, I'll go upside down the detail is just came out so well you could read even the small writing as well uh, on on the actual uh, board so uh, sorry about my shaking hand but I'm using my magnifying glass at the moment oh, maybe I've got too much light on that I don't know but anyway um, you can read all the detail of the presets which I put there, duty cycle um, there's, oh, that's, that's variable resistor 3 I think I think it is uh, variable resistor, resistor 4 sorry and the, even the, the chip footprint even that came out and you can read the writing any is it right way up? it's upside down now that came out as well and I couldn't find any flaws with it at all so just a little tip if anyone else wants to uh, do a silk screen and you want to get the best transfer of the toner across to your board but obviously you've got to sand it you get as well you've got to sandpaper before you start to make sure that this um, this side of the board is extremely rough well you, you know you got to really sand it quite hard to get it really really so that the toner has something to key onto when you melt it on there and once you've got that right and you make sure it's clean and you clean it with um, I cleaned this side of the this side of the um, perspex sorry, not perspex this side of the um, um, <coughs> circuit board with um, 
pure acetone to make sure it's perfectly clean and then I put my photo etch paper on I hold it in place with some tape some captain tape and then I put it through my laminator I didn't iron it on, I used my laminator and the laminator seems to be the best way of doing it because it has a rollers, rollers in so it covers every square millimetre um, much more evenly and anyway there's it's even put my, the small writing at the top there and bear in mind I'm using a magnifying glass right now you see my thumb so it's literally the size of my thumb what you're looking at underneath there and yeah so anyway you see you can see the raised edges of, this, of the toner on the board um, I'm sorry I've got a bit too much glare on there right now but this, this light is pretty bright um, there we go so the only thing, the only, the only problem I had was the fact that the board was a bit smaller than what I wanted so one of my components is right on the very edge but that doesn't matter because it's a socket that's right on the edge anyway so it's easy access to wiring and the, there's the other socket over there that one next to my phone that, this is the one socket, this is the other socket and these are my transistors I've already built a board like this previously and uh, that one's over here uh, well, let's take, uh, that one's over here oh, sorry I've got much light over here now I built this board and I'm, the new board I've just etched um, is an improved design so you can actually see, it's not very bright uh, I, I've got LED lights in here but that's the one I've just I made previously um, so this new version is version 6 that's how many times I've revised it anyway thanks for watching I'll get this video uploaded onto YouTube and you'll be able to see it much more clearly I've got the date on there as well which is today's date <coughs> well it was today's date it's after midnight now so and the copper came out really good too without any problems just put the light behind it so you can see through it so you can see there's absolutely no flaws in there's no tracks no breaks in the track or the toner when it was on the toner was on there it quite etched it um, so, sorry about the cloudiness of the video, that's because of the magnifying glass. Um, but anyway, that's it. It's upside down as well. Anyway. <laughs> oh, it was the right wheel. Oh well. Anyway, thanks for watching. <coughs> oh, get that video up. Uh, you had to see it under, under my camera. Um, I've got to transfer it across to the um, computer first. <coughs> That's going to take about five minutes. <sighs> yeah I'm glad I did that I'm, I'm really glad that I did this one again and redesigned the layout it's, it's just so much better I mean what a difference with, the, with these um this still screen it's oh, so much stronger you know I can read it now still struggling to read it I can read it from a distance and my eyes are bad 
<laughs> Bottom half? What do you mean, Tubus? Bottom half? Well, part of the board was a bit, the board was a bit smaller than it should have been. It was slightly narrower than it should have been, but that's the unimportant part. Um, that's just where I put a bit of writing. There was a, an extra ground plane around the edge, but I, 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 I got the most important part on. It was just this top edge, there was a slight, there was about uh, what, two millimeters missing on the top edge there. You can tell by these little pads on the ends, the right on the edge. Whereas these have got about, um, oh, what's that, three. Between that pad centre, there's one, two, three millimetres to the edge of the board on there. On this on this end, there's actually one millimetre to the edge of the board. So there was about two millimetres on this this top edge missing. But that that's irrelevant because all the circuit was within well within the board anyway. It was just um, the socket was right on the edge of the board there, but that's fine because the pads are there. The whole, all of the pads are there um, to solder to, so that's no problem. It's just that these bars were just look a bit too small. I, I could have crammed it in more, yeah, I could have done that, but then um, I was already I was already running out of space as it was, you know. So I'm going to wait for that um, video to transfer to the computer, then I'm going to get it on YouTube. Yeah, there was some in, there was some imperfections on the scanner as well. There's some muck on this on the scanner bed. And you'll get to see it on the phone when I get it uploaded. You can get a different perspective on it for the magnifying glass because it's a moving image instead of a static one where you can get bits of muck between the uh, the circuit board and the scanner bed. The scanner beds are... Uh, I'm always dropping fag ash on it to be honest, that's the problem. <laughs> That's probably what it is. It's probably uh, probably a bit of fag ash on the bloody scanner bed. I'm sure Hyde would have the same problem <laughs> if he was doing it. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, I'm happy with it anyway. Um, oh, while that's transferring across, I'm going to go and make some coffee. <coughs> I'm saving my light, save my solar battery. It's at 11.1 volts again.
Uh, I'll just see if that's uploaded onto the computer yet. Oh, yes it has. Right, I'm going to get that on the YouTube. I'm going to wait for my um, automation script to move it across to this computer. Oh, it's there now. It's already there. It's just arriving anyway. <coughs> Swept the thumbnail. There it is. Right. I always have to upload to twice. It keeps giving me errors. Stupid YouTube. Oh, God, this is going to be twelve, twelve minutes. I better title it. Um, Actually, I'll, I'll get the title from here somewhere. Uh, let's see. Right, because this is a tutorial as well to help, well, not really a tutorial, but um, a tips thing. Um, how so screen. How do you spell ISO? I don't know how you spell it. Uh, I don't know. Should be on this bottle. I can't remember. I need to get the spelling right because. Oh. Anybody that's searching for this stuff is going to want to, uh, let's see, oh yeah, that's it, uh, it's a really strange fucking,
What did I do? Pepper glued? What the heck? I must have typed for I've got fat fingers or something. Um Keywords PCB H um laminate um so screen um tip Yeah, well, I'm sure that will help a lot of people who have been trying to find a good way of doing the silk screening because <coughs> after finding it, it's worth sharing it. <coughs> so a lot of people probably want to know the, a better way of doing it. I can't think it's going to be seven minutes for it to upload. Well, there was one thing. Um, I forgot to move those with those with those um, diode D3, R22, and D2. <laughs> forgot to move them slightly to the side. But oh well, you can read them. It's actually kind of cool because you can read them. Uh, normally, if you stick them there, you can't read them. But as long as you can read them, that's all that matters, really. <laughs> oh well, that's no biggie. That's because that was one of the last things I added. I added you see so oh well <sighs> I jumped across from doing this preset very was the three I jumped right across to doing this this other section which was very resistor four and R eleven and then I completely forgot some of those resistor um, R twenty two D two D three labels off to the side but never mind I mean yeah just means you can't see them when the components there. <laughs> oh well, <coughs> we all we all make, make some kind of a mistake. Yeah, there's just a bit more powdery stuff actually on there once we've been off, but that's nothing. Um, yeah, this is crap on the scanner bed by the way that is that white speck is a bit of ash or something on the scanner bed <coughs> and that that's a bit of muck that's a bit of muck on the board which could still be rubbed off If I want to rub it off, but I don't think it's showing up actually now. I can't see it anyway. Maybe it's just the way the light caught it on the scanner, I don't know. Um, let's see. Um, I see one. This one, I see one. No, it's not there. There's, I can't see anything there. There was more crap on the scanner bed by the looks of it. Uh. Yeah, nothing there. Yeah, it's just some muck on my scanner bed. 
can't see anything. Oh yeah. That oh, looks perfect to me. Anyway, I see our phone. <coughs> Actually, I need to upload just thumbnail as well. So, um, go back to the go back to the YouTube thing. Let's let's upload a thumbnail. Um, actually, I will upload that that one. As a I need to get rid of that spec though. That's not supposed to be there. Um, that is not supposed to be there, it's just muck. So I don't know. Yeah, I'm doing a Photoshop job. <laughs> Well, it's not there. I can't see it. So it was that was an artifact caused by the, um, the scanner. So Yeah, I'm not cheating hide. I'm going to be removing my scanner error, otherwise I've got to scan the damn thing again. Oops. And that, that bit down there, which was not meant to be, that was the scanner error. Oh, I can't really get rid of that, can I? Because it's, it's over the writing. scanner as well because I can't actually see that. I'll leave the rest because <coughs> the rest of them are just basically bits of pasty stuff which I didn't get removed. But anyway, um, I need to select a thumbnail. I want to be in this folder. I think I'm already in that folder actually.
Oh great, the image, the picture, the image is too big. Okay, right, um, resize 40%. Alright, so what size am I? That's one to one. How big is that? I say that is small. That's smaller, that should fit. Right, um... Published. I need to check it out myself. I ain't even watched it. <laughs> sure, it's work. I'm sure it's fine. Um, I think I'll watch it now myself. Actually, check it out as well. Anyway, after I've cleaned it, um, 
this is what I got. And it's so, the detail is just so clear. You can read, oh, I've got it upside down. The detail is just came out so well, you could read even the small writing as well uh, on, on the actual um, board. So, uh, sorry about my shaking hand. I'm using a magnifying glass at the moment. I'm not got too much light on that, I don't know. Well, anyway, um, you can read all the details of the presets which I put there, duty cycle. Um, that's that's Virgo's Zestus 3, I think. I think it is. Uh, Virgo's Zestus 4, sorry. And the, even the, the chip footprint, even that came out. And you can read the writing, any, is it right wheel? It's upside down now. That came out as well. And I couldn't find any flaws with it at all. So, just a little tip if anyone else wants to uh, do a silk screen and you want to get the best transfer of the toner across to your ball, but obviously you've got to sand it as well you've got to sandpaper before you start to make sure that this um, this side of the board is extremely rough well it's, you know you've got to really sand it quite hard to get it really really cut so that the toner has something to key on to when you melt it on there and once you've got that right and you make sure it's clean and you clean it with um i cleaned this side of the this side of the um perspex sorry, not perspex this side of the um, um, circuit board with um, pure acetone to make sure it's perfectly clean and then I put my photo etch paper on, I hold it in place with some tape, some captain tape and then I put it through my laminator, I didn't iron it on, I used my laminator and the laminator seems to be the best way of doing it because it has a roller isn't it? rollers in so it covers every square millimeter um that's what evenly and anyway there's you see even put my, there's small writing at the top there and bear in mind i'm using a magnifying glass right now you see my thumb so it's literally the size of a thumb what you're looking at underneath there and yeah so anyway you see you can see the raised edges of this of the toner on the board. Um, I'm sorry I've got a bit too much glare on there right now. This light is pretty bright. Um, there we go. So the only, thing, the, only, the only problem I had was the fact that the board was a bit smaller than what I wanted. So one of my components is right on the very edge. It doesn't matter because it's a socket that's right on the edge anyway so it's easy access to wiring. And the, there's the other socket over there, that one next to my floor. That This is the one socket, this is the other socket. And these are my transistors. I've already built a board like this previously. Um, that one's over here. Um, well, that one's over here. Oh, sorry, I've got this light over here. Now, I've built this board, and I've, the new board I've just etched. Um, is an improved design so you can actually it's not very bright uh, I've, I've got LED lights in here but that's the one I've just I made previously um, so this new version is version 6 that's how many times I've revised it <coughs> anyway thanks for watching I'll get this video uploaded on YouTube and you're going to see it much more clearly. I've got the date on there as well. Which is today's date. <coughs> well, it was today's date. It's not the big night now. So. And the bottle came out really good too. without any problems. <coughs> Just put the light between it so you can see through it. So 
you can see there's absolutely no flaws in, there's no tracks, no breaks in the track or the tongue, uh, what it was on, the tongue was on there and what well, etched it. Um, so, sorry about the cloudiness of the video, that's because of the magnifying glass. Um, but anyway, that's it. It's upside down as well. Anyway. <laughs> Well, it was the right wheel. Oh well. Anyway, thanks for watching. Yeah, I'm probably going to stop the stream actually. So I haven't got much. I haven't got anything else to show right now. <laughs> uh, well, it was good to see Z come on anyway, even if it was short and sweet. It was almost like he was under some kind of hypnotic control because he actually started live streaming without intent. So it's like, yeah something made him push that button <laughs> mm. Mm. my addiction is rising I just had to do that oh, I had to do that I just can't resist and post ubus He's got a strong aversion to the dice. Oh well, never mind. He must have been to a hypnotist at some point in his past and told that you hate dice. Shubus, you hate dice. You will never touch another dice ever. And now Shubus won't touch the dice. Mm. <laughs> Oh, I've still got the screenshot on. Oh, right. Anyway, I'm ending it. <laughs>